Hi, and welcome to a part of VM Blog's ongoing video series. Uh, I have the pleasure of having Victor Fiss in the studio today and uh, David Marshall from VM Blog. You guys all know him as well. Um, can you tell us a little bit about Parallels and your role at the company? Yes, uh, my name is Victor, as you just mentioned. I'm the director of sales engineers at Parallels. I work in the cross-platform products, so I oversee all of the products at Parallels. And um, I am based here in Seattle, Bellevue, Washington, and have been working for Parallels for the last three and a half years. Wow, that's uh, that's a long time. We, we've we been talking with the folks from Parallels for many, many years, but uh, three and a half years is a long time uh, uh, to be there. Yes, it is. And actually, Parallels has been in business for, what, maybe 20 years now. And I came right after we acquired one of the technologies we love the best nowadays, which is Remote Application Server. So I came here to restructure the pre-sales and accelerate our growth. Speaking of which, 20-year uh, history, I know a lot of technologists, including myself, uh, really know parallels for your desktop virtualization products on both Windows and Mac. Uh, but can you give folks watching at home sort of a quick overview of Parallels and the other technologies that you also offer? Yeah, absolutely. Actually, this is how I knew about Parallels too. I was a Parallels desktop user back in the day, had a Mac, wanted to run Windows. Uh, so over time, uh, Parallels decided to expand the portfolio. So, you know, deploying Windows on Macs, then we started managing Mac devices with Parallels Mac management. and three and a half years or almost four now, we acquired a Maltese or European company called 2X, which is remote application server, which is uh, you know a marketplace to go to VDI, desktop as a services and so on. And lastly, uh, we have also Parallels Toolbox, which was a product introduced last year, which combines more or less 30 different tools that you can, or shortcuts if you will, on Macs and Windows, like presentation mode or downloading a video or optimizing energy consumption of your laptop. I wanted to find out a little bit more about, you know, what's your take on VDI and the desktop as a service market right now? You know, it seems that through the EUC space has really been heating up in 2019. And um, I was wondering, what do you think is really causing that? Very good question, because People have been talking about VDI for many, many years, and the biggest fear to deploy VDI was always the cost of infrastructure, where to run, and complexity to maintain. Technology and the cost of infrastructure evolved to decrease the cost significantly in storage, computing costs, and of course, hosting, either on-prem or on cloud. At the same time, like Parallels, we have evolved the technology to simplify how desktops can be provisioned, deployed, maintained. So it was a matter of maturity on the technology side and, of course, decreasing operational costs to run the VDI space. And, and you mentioned uh, the 2X acquisition. So uh, one of the technologies that we've been closely following is your, your Parallels Remote Application Server, or RAS. Uh, Maybe uh, for the folks watching at home, could you talk, go into a little bit more deeper level uh, discussion and talk about Parallels RAS and, you know, what the technology offers? Yes, absolutely. So the technology is similar to what running applications or desktops, hosted base, low maintenance, and the ability to deliver them in a very simplistic way for users. So many use cases we, we hear from customers is, I have this legacy application, I have an ERP system or EMR, manufacturing, and now we have all of these tablets, iPads, or you know, thin clients, and we don't want to retrain the force. We want to reuse the same technology, update it, and fastly action to deliver to the users. So Parallels RAS basically is an application publishing technology that can deliver applications to end users, and as well a VDI platform that you can you know, publish Windows 7, 8, or Windows 10 VDIs to end users regardless what devices they have. 
So the biggest growth and questions we hear constantly is, I want to use my Windows-based application in a very easy way on a tablet. And you know, the touch is not super easy to use. So we combine uh, an old Parallels technology called Parallels Access with RAS on the iOS and Android side to make it easier for users to have the precise touch or mouse movement with their fingers. And that was a very, very big point for us to become more relevant, especially with legacy apps that were not designed for touch experience or gestures. And so you mentioned that that seems like that's one of your differentiating factors, but what else do you do to kind of differentiate yourselves from the other products in the space? It's you know pretty crowded, and um, you know what sets you apart? It's super crowded, very true. So the differentiations we can classify in two folds. One of them is in the front end, which is the you know the iOS and Android experience. We think is a very good differentiation there. The second one. Um, is related to using now AI technologies in remote application server to learn uh, how users log in, what time they log in, and what day of the week they log in to automatically uh, log them in into the system or into the backend infrastructure and have faster login and not overwhelming the infrastructure as a whole. So the way you can, can configure it's pretty much click-based approach instead of creating very complex rules that people might not use it. So simplicity to deliver AI learning session pre-launch. Another differentiation we have is related to uh, what experience users can pick. They can use tablets, they can use clients, and they can use an HTML5 client without compromising how they can access the application. Because who buys a technology today is not IT, it's the user. If the user likes it, they take it. So we focus a lot into the end user side. And with our, that's I think is the third one is we can live on Azure, we can live on AWS. We have customers starting to use now Google Cloud and Alibaba Clouds, and at the same time use their existing infrastructure. So the hybrid approach or multi-cloud that people are talking more and more nowadays, we can use our same console, one point of management, and you can see cloud, on-premise uh, on infrastructure, and have a single pane of glass. So the simplicity that we give to users is the same for the administrator side. So <clears throat> recently, you know, we talked uh, with the folks at Parallels, we did a really good uh, written Q&A interview article mm -hmm. uh, really recently, when you guys announced the new version of uh, RAS, version 17, uh, for the folks who haven't read it yet, and if you're watching this, you need to go read it, we'll put a link to mm -hmm. that uh, to that interview article uh, in the notes. Uh, but for the folks who haven't seen that yet, uh, can you maybe talk about some of the new features in, in version 17 that really stand out? Yes, so the first one is what I mentioned, the session pre-launch to automatically learn using AI the user behavior. So that's a very big plus to reduce log on times without using application approaches, user approach, that's very important to say. The second piece is people ask about, I want to do two factor authentication, but I don't have money or knowledge to use third parties. So we integrated with Google Authenticator and as well with Microsoft Azure Authenticator. So you have multi-factor authentication pretty much for free and for all of your apps and desktops. We also introduce uh, for service providers, especially they love to customize the look and feel of our HTML5 client. It is 100% customizable now. And the idea to customize is not knowing hex codes of colors and where to place the image. It is pretty much guided in a UI that you pick the colors you want, and then we do the translation and the delivery part. On top of that is VDI enhancements, because uh, more or less a year and a half ago, we decided to uh, update and re-engineer our VDI, especially because of scalability. 
And now we ported new features to the scale uh, for the VDI management, which includes session management, control, remote control, and interactions, which we didn't have. And it's a nice feature to have, so we added to the users. And for the help desk, we have a new web management console. So we call it the help desk uh, console. It's a web UI which picks the most used features in the help desk to assist users. Like a session, it's stuck. You need to log off a user or you want to um, send a message to all users and, and take interaction with that. So the web UI uh, for that is a version 1.0. We're going to add more and more features there. And uh, especially um, in version 17, we have done additional testing uh, and certification to work with scale computing. Like I mentioned before, we think hybrid cloud is going to be a long-term strategy for everybody. So that's why we added and we had a new partnership with scale first with uh, VDI space and attend and work in the SMB businesses to make sure you come with a good price hardware, scalable, and the scalable solution to deliver them. So these are the main features that I consider in version 17 that people will be loving to use. So Victor, if you don't mind me asking, uh, how do you guys handle the Windows Virtual Desktop on Azure? Yeah, so we have been working with Microsoft um, and we're planning uh, sometime next year uh, to deliver WVD approach. Uh, we have worked with a couple of approaches and we're validating the approach with Microsoft. So the idea, yes, we have WVD in our horizon and we're working with Microsoft to deliver that within each one next year. And then finally, Victor, I don't want to get you in trouble, uh, but I have to ask <laughs> this. Uh, if you could uh, talk a little bit about what's next for Parallels RAS. What, uh, I don't know if there's something that's uh, uh, publicly available that you can talk about or not, but uh, if so, maybe give us a few sneak peeks into what's coming in the near future. Yes, so we have an update coming more or less in October this year, which is version 17.1. And um, we are adding uh, actually three major features uh, that we can highlight. First one is SAML support. Uh, for, especially for large organizations and service providers who does not want to handle user management, reset passwords, and so on. So SAML integration, it's uh, a feature we're looking at. The second one is we're going to deliver multi, a different approach to multi-tenancy. Today, we have customers using multi-tenancy, uh, but we want to have them segregated in multi-farm. So that's the idea that of the deliverable. And... Uh, the third feature involves scale computing as well. We're introducing um, what we call dynamic host pools for RD session hosts. And I've said three, but there's a fourth one, uh, which is a support to do auto scaling of RD session hosts on Azure. So using templates, you can add and remove workloads dynamically based upon users, which will optimize you know, Azure consumption costs for for our customers. Well, great. We uh, I just want to say, you know, for anyone watching this, if you haven't already checked it out, please do check out Parallels uh, Remote Application Server. It's it's really uh, really interesting and powerful and affordable uh, technology. Um, and then I just want to thank Victor for sharing his time and his expertise with VM Blog today. And we look forward to watching what Parallels does in the future. And thank you so much for the opportunity as well. Great.